Hey guys, we're back indoors and now we're going to be trying to di extract the color from these leaves and see what happens. Okay, so all you need for this activity is some tissue paper or coffee filter, different colored leaves, ethanol, ethanol or isopropyl alcohol, some hot water, a two, two to one scissors, some a spoon, some spoons, and heat resistant cups. Okay guys, step one. Let's begin by taking the heat resistant cups. And here you go. And we're going to be cutting the leaves up into small pieces. We've got one, two, three, four, five types of leaves. And just for fun, we're going to be putting all the colours into this one in the end. So let's start cutting. We're done cutting the leaves. Now we're going to be adding a tablespoon of ethanol into each of these. For the last one, we just mixed all of these for fun. So which colour are you adding it into? So this is a mix of all colours. Then... What can we also use? You can also use isopropyl alcohol. We've put one tablespoon. Now we're going to mash up real nice and put it in dark for 30 minutes. So you're going to leave it in a dark room for 30 minutes after you mash the leaves up real nice. The idea is for the pigments to start coming out into the alcohol. See you in a bit. Okay guys, it's been about 30 minutes and the, as you can see the alcohol has changed colour because the pigments are starting to come up. Now to make the solution more concentrated, we're going to add hot water into this bowl and then we're going to let this sit in that. So be careful, if it's really steaming hot like ours, just pour it really slowly, you don't want to scald your fingers. So we're preparing a little water bath. Oh, these are heat resistant cups. So they're there. And we're going to be placing our solutions into this. So the idea is to let the alcohol evaporate. We've got to leave this for around 30 minutes. 30 minutes again. And we'll see you in soon. 30 minutes. Okay guys, we've left our solution overnight and as you can see, it's become thicker. Now we're going to be doing something called chromatography. Chromatography is a separation of two or more solids present in a solution in very small quantities. Okay guys, we've cut our strips. Now we're going to be putting one drop on a decided level. So me and Nanush are going to put it over here for all of them. Okay. Just one drop, you can also use a dropper, but we're just putting it with the... If you're pouring it, pour it very carefully, just one drop. That's, that's it. it, fantastic. Now that one. So that's the red one. So, as you can see, I'm just pour it over there, pour it at the same level. Don't let them mix, so be careful. Don't let any solids come out. Okay. If one or two drops come out, that's okay. Okay, guys, now we're going to be making our chromatography set up. Um, ethanol is 90%. We're going to be putting half a centimetre into each of these cups and then hanging this on top. Possible, ideally see-through glasses. This takes a bit of patience. And this is how we are going to be hanging it. Like this. And waiting for a couple of hours. Yes. You can already see the ethanol rising. Then it's going to be taking our pigments and separating them. Let's see what happens. we've left it to dry and as you can see the pigments are starting to look way better now 
they're starting they're starting to come up so this, this was the red leaf here and we can clearly see that it's giving us red and a little yeah, bit of yellow a little bit of yellow see just there that is the yellow leaf which is this one it's giving us a little bit of green and yellow you can see it's giving us the yellow pigment and a little bit of green and as you can see the purple one is giving a lot there's purple there's green and there's a little bit of yellow and then also some brown awesome nice now is the brown leaf it's given us a bit of yellowish brown and here is the green leaf it's given us quite a bit of green and some yellow and here's the mixture of all which has given us a nice mixture yeah oh, this is beautiful this took around 15 20 minutes mm -hmm. for it to dry and this is the beautiful result yeah, check out the hidden colors guys that's so cool right we hope you enjoyed this video of chromatography and we'll see you in our next video